My name is Benjamin Schloss. I'm a machine learning engineer for a bridge AI. Today, I'm presenting the paper Towards an Automated Soap Note, Classifying Utterances from Medical Conversations. Medical notes help patients stay on top of their care, and clinicians communicate and remember important information, but they're expensive and time-consuming to create. Deep learning could help alleviate these costs, but there is currently very little data evaluating intelligent automation of clinical notes for real medical conversations. The current study begins to bridge this gap by evaluating utterance level classification of SOAP section relevance and speaker roles in real clinical dialogues between doctors and patients. We acquired a proprietary data set containing 10,000 hours of speech from actual clinical encounters with human generated transcripts. These encounters were human SOAP annotated by specially trained annotators. Though SOAP annotation is ongoing, we present an analysis of 1,300 hours of speech. Annotators were asked to write structured SOAP notes and cite utterances in the transcript for every observation they made. These citations form the basis of the SOAP labeling in the current study. We used a hierarchical encoder-decoder model and compared it to traditional bag of words baselines. We also analyzed the contributions of different layers of the architecture to classification performance. The full model uses ELMO to generate word embeddings, word level attention to generate an utterance embedding, and a stacked by LSTM to generate a contextualized utterance embedding. This is then used as input to a multi-LSTM decoder. The deep learning architectures which use a stack by LSTM at the utterance level achieve near human performance on SOAP section classification and overall best performance on speaker label classification. They also achieve substantial gains on several metrics compared to models which did not capture relationships between utterances. Including ASR data in training did not improve robustness to ASR data in testing for SOAP section classification. However, training on ASR data did reliably improve robustness for classifying speaker roles. Clinically relevant information in medical conversations depends on inter-utterance context. Though this is perhaps not surprising for dialogues, many available tools rely on string matching, context-independent word embeddings, and or sentence parsing. Our results suggest these methods are suboptimal for dialogue. Our study also provides quantitative data from deep learning models and multiple human annotators, which may serve as a benchmark for future research. Finally, we developed a modular technique for adapting models trained on human labels to ASR output. This technique can be used with off-the-shelf publicly available ASR tools, and we show that for some tasks, it does improve model robustness. Thank you.